What is up makers, my name is Jack Daly and welcome to today's video. In this video we are going to be talking about how to install games on your 8BitCade using the Arduino IDE. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to the 8BitCade website. So in case you're not sure how to do that, simply go to Google and type in 8BitCade. And there you'll see the first link, click on that and you will get 8BitCade. Now this is the website, this is where you reach a lot of the resources that you want. For this, we want to go to the game section, so click on the game button here. And that should open you up to this section here. So, scroll down and you want to go and choose your console. Now today's video will show you how to use how to upload the games for the 8 bitcade XL. So go ahead and click download the 8 bitcade XL games here button. And now, in case you haven't already, be sure to follow this video to install Arduino because you will be needing that in this video. So, pause it here if you haven't already installed Arduino and install Arduino. Okay, so now well, I want you to click on this button here. And what this will do is it will bring you to the console specific page uh, for the 8 bitcade XL. Now this has everything um, for the 8 bitcade XL regarding gaming. So if we scroll down, you can see you've got a video called .hex versus .ino files. Now this just explains the difference between hex and ino files. Now this is useful to watch before you continue this video so you get an understanding of the different file types, while we, why we use them and which one you should be using. In this video though, we're gonna be looking at how to load games with using the .ino file type. So we're doing a Arduino load. Now, I wanna draw your attention to three buttons. Now these two down here and this one up here. So these two down here are the game files. They're the raw .ino game files and we'll be downloading them in a second. And the second button I want you to click on is the for setup document. So if I middle mouse click, that will open up uh, that will open it up in a new tab. So I can go here and you can see we've got the Arduino Basics library and board set up for the APK Excel. So we'll be using this, if you see I scroll down, you can see we have the settings for the Arduino. So we, later on in the video, are gonna be using this to copy the settings into the Arduino IDE. Right, so let's go ahead and download part one of the games because we only need to show one example. So click here to download. See, that's beginning to download and wait for that to download. Okay, now that that's downloaded, you wanna go ahead and click on this little arrow down here and you wanna click show in folder and that will show the download location of the file. Drag that over to the desktop, move it on there and find where it is, here it is. We can click either extract here to extract the contents or we can extract it to its own folder with the name of the zip file. So click extract to and that will extract the file. And you can see it's quite a big file, so it's gonna take a while. Okay, now that that's extracted, we can see we've got a folder called APK Excel Games Part 1. We open that and we can see we've got another folder and these are all the games uh, in the part one um, that we can upload to our APK Excel. So here you can see you've got all of the different games. So what you want to do is you want to select the folder of the game that you want to install. So for example, if we want to load Pong onto the 8-bit cage, we would click on the Pong uh, folder, open it up, and look for the .ino Arduino master file. So for example, you can't see it in here, so we'll have to open up this one, and there it is. So you can see we've got Pong, Arduino file, and that is the master file. So what we want to do is we want to open this up, but you can see we've got some other files. We've got a CPP and HPP. Now we'll get into what those mean in the learn section in more detail, but for now, note that the main file that we want to open up is this one here. So go ahead and open that up. Okay, so now that we've opened the game, you can see we've opened up Arduino. We'll make that a little bit bigger so then it's easier to read. So here you can see we've got the file organized quite nicely. We have .cpp files, which means C++, which is a different language that you can also use to code Arduino with. And we can see we've also got .hpp. So this just helps us with organizing the code. And we'll go into how we use those in another video. But note that .hpp is a header file that's used for defining things. And the .cpp file is used for coding in C++. So what we need to do now is we need to go to tools and we need to then check these settings with the setup guide. So, if 
So now we're going to go ahead and drag Arduino to the right and then open up Chrome on the left. And we want to go to that setup document. You can see I have it open from before. Now you guys should have done this. You should have installed the libraries, all required libraries and things like that. So this document you should be familiar with. If not, then stop the video now and follow that tutorial. The way we're going to use it is we're going to use it to copy the correct, correct settings. Here you can see we've got the correct settings. So I'm going to go tools and I'm going to check them. So board, homemade Arduino, that is correct. Spark farm, alternate wiring, correct. Optimized core, correct. Oh, SSD 1309, correct. Cafe 3K, correct. Uh, recommended, brilliant. So now what we want to do is currently the 8BK isn't connected. So the port doesn't show up. But when we connect, you want to click on this and you want to choose the correct port. So let's go ahead and plug in the ABK at Excel like so. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to get this end and you want to plug it into your ABK to make sure you get it the right way around. And then you want to get the USB end and you want to plug that into your computer. And you should see this should come up. Okay, so now that we've plugged in the ABK at Excel, if we go to Tools, we can now select the port. You can see we've got Confine Arduino Leonardo. Now that is the ABK at Excel. So go ahead and click on that. And now we're ready to upload the game file. So firstly, we've got two buttons up here. We've got one called Verify and one called Upload. Now Verify will check the code, but it won't upload it. This is useful if you want to debug the code and check for any errors. So go ahead and click Verify. Always do this before you upload it. And you can see you've done compiling, so obviously we've got no errors. And then click Upload. Now as you can see, while it's uploading, and you should see it should come up on the screen. So now we can play Pong. Okay, so that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. You have successfully loaded your first game using the Arduino IDE. Now, the positives of loading with the Arduino IDE is that you can actually see how the game works and you can sort of understand and see the coding behind it and how it's structured. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been Jack Daly from 8 Decade. Have a great time on your console playing new games such as Pong and other games. And that's it. Thank you so much. Keep gaming.